the tragedy of the felled prince crab. Can you crack the shell on this case? Ooh. First of all, I like the really pixelated title screen. I like the title, and I like what the subtitle implies. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgam Ash, and this is the game that I said it was by Rainline, uh, made an RPG developer Baking and submitted to the Baking 2023 Game Jam. Let's go. I want, oh, art. What would you like to name this loser? Now that's, that's uncalled for. He's wearing a uniform, or they, or she, uh, it, it's got a crab on the front. I like crabs. And would you like to name this loser? Mm, uh, yes. Bay? Bay's fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the keyboard works. That's fantastic. I like that. Bay's fine, though. Well, uh, this loser is named Bay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. The Prince Crab. A wonderful company and phenomenal place to work. Oh, did I apply for a job? Oh my gosh, finally. I've escaped warehouse work. Ah! I can't wait to do whatever we do at this place. The Prince Crab is a production company that specializes in creating a variety of crab-related goods. Uh, okay. We manufacture everything, from plushies, towels, and statues to, DV to CD players. Wow, almost got too modern there. Toilet seat covers and pacifiers. We make it all. Our creativity is boundless. Uh, oh, oh, no, oh. God, get it out of here. Everything created within the Prince Crab Production Company is crafted while the, with the utmost care and dedication by our employees, even if some of them are AI. My name is Bay Last Name. <laughs> I may not have a last name, but what I do have is a crush. That's Shell, Shelly Batoy. She's pretty, she's pretty. I don't, I don't blame you for crushing on her. Oh, she blinked. Aw, she blinked at us. What could it mean? I've had a thing for her for a while. Today, I'm finally gonna make my feelings known. Her office should be somewhere in this hall. Okay, okay, I'm not actually sure. I assumed too early. This could be a... This could be a female. <gasps> oh. Interesting. That's at the end of the hall. I don't want to go that way yet. Instead, I'm going to walk really fast. You notice that we're not running. Because normally it's not allowed to run at the workplace. So we're just walking very fast. Skipper, Bay, where have you been? Someone brought pizza to the break room. Sorry, I was actually trying to find Shell. Ah, she's got to be at her desk. Either that or that she's busy on a review. Thanks, Skipper. I'll see you later. Don't forget to eat some pizza. I can't stand pizza. You know, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I'm having fun just looking at everything. We've got crab posters everywhere. Coffee and a donut. Do you like coffee and donut? We've got counter. There's still plenty of break time left. Oh, that's going back to work. We don't want to do that. We can explore these back offices. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize I need card access just to visit her at her desk. Figurine painter, last name. My badge is only good for accessing areas related to figurines and painting. Oh, interesting. Huh, I thought I heard something. Oh, well. Bay's access badge has been added to the inventory. You can view and inspect certain items from the menu. We'll be sure to do that. Evidence. Evidence. Brain cell zero. We are dumb. Okay. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. What else do I have? You know, this oddly reminds me of... Cool. I'm just a painter. Nothing special. So I don't have tons of access throughout the building. It's no big deal. I'm fine with my position as is. It's reminding me oddly of the general general. This leads to a security office. You were just gonna go and tell Shelly that you had, ah! 
that you had a thing for. There's still plenty of break time left. Well, let's eat some pity pizza. No? Hey, did you speak to Shell? Also, there's still plenty of pizza to consume. Nah, I couldn't catch her. Uh, just when I decided I'd finally confess to her and everything. Oh my god, a confession? I'm rooting for you. Wait, what did he have to say about that? That weird crash. Did you hear that noise? Yeah, I'm scared. You go check it out. He's so friendly. So, oh my god. Oh. Minced crab? Oh no. I was initially horrified. I thought a person had fallen. Or gotten hurt. But it's a figurine! After closer inspection, I can see that this is no human. It looks like a statue. Most likely ceramic. But what is it doing here? What happened? Feld's statue has been added to evidence, so he just collected it. You're like, what is this doing here? Let's uh let let's take a look at the evidence. Oh, we uh <laughs> try that one more time. Okay, there's no further inspection to be done. Something very strange has happened here. Should I notify security personnel? No. Not yet. First, let's try to uh, examine the scene a little bit more. More. What? Well, was this here before? It looks like someone wrote on the wall, but why? Still can't get into other places. All right, let's notify security. I used the call button and spoke to security through the intercom to inform them of the strange situation. It wasn't long before security personnel emerged to get a look at the scene. They interviewed me and I gave a statement. I didn't come off as suspicious and I never witnessed anything, so I was cleared as a suspect. Wow, babe, this is some mess, huh? Yeah, everything happened so suddenly. Where did that statue come from? And why did this have to happen when I finally mustered the courage to try and tell Shell how I feel? So annoying. Oh, sorry about Shell, by the way. I hope you'll get to see her again soon. Huh? Why would you say that? You don't know? They're holding her in the security office now. Rumors are saying she did this. She might even get fired. Huh? <laughs> fired? Shell might get fired? No way. Not now. I don't know what this is all about, but there's got to be some misunderstanding. I gotta get to her. Well, you could try to see if they'll let you in the security office, but good luck with that. I can't give you any details of the ongoing investigation. Ah, oh, what a shame. Gosh, they are. What is this here before? Oh, I can't talk to this guy specifically, can I? I thought the Paints Prince Crab was supposed to be the happiest place on Earth. Let's go back to work. <laughs> There's still plenty of break time. I don't think I'll be able to go back to work throughout this game. Still can't access that door. I don't think my badge level would change. It's just, what if somebody comes out to investigate and they leave the door propped open or something? I knock on the door and demand to speak with Shell. The guard in the intercom denies my entry, but I'm persistent. It seems like I won't ever be let in. That is, until I hear another voice in the intercom. It sounds like his boss or superior. The guard exchanges a few words with his superior, and before I know it... Clickety click. I wish I was touching crabs. That's a little weird, my guy. Oh, I think that's her. But what's through this door? Nothing. We can't. We can't go. Shell, what happened? First some random statue gets broken out in the hallway. Now they're saying you did it and you're probably going to get fired? Oh, bae, it's you. Ah, it all happened so fast. I don't even understand the situation well myself. What's with the statue out there? All this started the moment I found it all broken to pieces in the hallway. A statue? Uh, I know just as much as you do. After a great commotion, I was collected from the assignment I was working on and brought here into the security office for questioning. I don't fully understand the situation, but it seems the guards believe I must have committed a crime. Now they're holding me here to, until they receive word from the CEO on how to proceed. Shell doesn't even know what she's being accused of? She hasn't even seen the statue for herself? I wonder if there's anything I can show her to give her an idea of what's going on. Alibi? Where were you when all this happened? I was working on an assignment as usual. Shell works as a quality reviewer, so all of her assignments involve assuring the quality of the items we make here in the company. 
We wouldn't want any bad crabs making their way out to the public, after all. I wasn't even working for long until a scary guard woman approached me and took me in for questioning. There has to be a way to delve deeper into the details. There has to be a reason why they think she has something to do with the mess in the hall. What about being fired? I heard you might get fired because of this. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't even understand what's happened, but I truly am being treated like a criminal. Whatever transpired out there must be quite serious. There has to be a way to delve deeper into the details. <sighs> um... Never mind. Hmm... I guess there's nothing else I can talk about? We're gonna have to go get more evidence. I think. Or... Or... Maybe we can use an item. This is a photo of the statue outside. It's what started this whole mess. The, the Prince Crab. The Prince Crab? Our company? No, no. Prince Crab, as in royalty. Oh, okay. I saw both of the spellings, and I wondered if there was an error, but no, it's all very intentional. That's the Prince Crab. It was going to be our mascot. We were getting a mascot? Really? Yes, it was planned to be unveiled as soon as it passed the QA inspection. But now it's in pieces out in the hallway. That's a shame. I understand why this is being treated so seriously now. Now she has an idea of what happened, I might have an easier time getting more details from her. Why would that be? Why would... That's not logical. Yes, the Prince Crab. It was a secret project in the works since the company wanted to surprise everyone and reveal it as our new mascot. Since it was meant to be a surprise, very few people were privy to the knowledge of its existence and even fewer were directly involved in its production. I, of course, knew of its existence because I would have been the one to give it a final review before it was unveiled. Would have been the one, so she didn't get a chance to review it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was pre-review. On the Prince Crab? No, unfortunately I never got a chance to review it. When I initially went to check on the Prince Crab, there was a sign that said it wasn't ready for review, so I moved on to my next assignment to keep busy. So you never got a chance to look over the Prince Crab, and yet you're still being tied to this somehow. It's quite terrible. All right, let's talk about you being fired again. It's terrible. I had nothing to do with any of it. Won't anyone give me a chance? I... I'll do it. Huh? If no one else will give you a chance, then I will. I know you couldn't have done something like this. You could never deface a crab. I want to look into this as best as I can to prove to everyone that you're innocent. Bay, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'll go out there now and investigate some more. There's gotta be something we're missing. Uh, before that here, you should take this. Receive Shell's access badge. That could be punishable by a, a write-up. That's probably not good, given another employee your access card. That, I'm sure there's an agreement that you sign when you are hired that's like, can't don't, just don't share your card. Oh, your badge? Yes, you should have it if you plan on investigating this further. It seems the guards have no plan of letting me out of here anytime soon. I winced too hard, and now my eyes are watering. You'll have an easier time getting around the side of the building if you have it on you. Thanks, Shell. This will really be helpful. This has to be a sign. This must be why I wasn't able to confess to her earlier. This was a divine intervention from all the little crabbies up above. <laughs> I don't deserve to have my feelings acknowledged. Not yet, at least. The crabs above are giving me this chance to prove myself, to earn Shell's love. I can do this. For Shell, I can do anything. Do you have anything to say? You wish you were touching crabs. You are strange. You are a strange one. Ah! Hey, how'd it go? Did you speak to Shelly? I did. I'm gonna investigate more to help her out and prove her innocence. Dope! I'm in! My best friend Skipper has joined on the investigation. You dopes just continue to stand there and do nothing. We are gonna sneak in to places we're not supposed to be. What's in your trash can? What's in your lockers? What's in your filing cabinet? Hmm, doesn't seem like this is Shell's desk. Perfect. What's in the notes? What's in your chair? What's in your PC? Uh, <coughs> Overdid it? What's on your drawing board? What's on your locker? Who's hiding in there? I love working here because I love crabs. You all have issues. But who am I to, who am I to judge? I may only be nine years old, but my knowledge of crabs is invaluable. Ah. 
this is one of those, one of those exploitative companies. You know, the drink on the laptop and the like open takeout next to it, that's, that's fun. That is really good. She's only nine years old and it shows. No self-respecting laptop owner would ever put a drink on their keyboard. And you know it. Uh, we've got a police officer, guard guy looking around everywhere. I have to keep an eye on the suspect's desk. I couldn't snoop through this. This doesn't seem like Shell's desk. Oh. Well, I was given a red herring. This guy is really strange. This looks like Shell's desk. Even though he's over there looking right at us, I'm gonna investigate it. She sure does have a lot of markers, like a lot of green markers. I kind of want to steal one. I've only ever seen my QA reviews come back in green ink, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, that's true. My reviews are always marked up in green. That makes sense. I guess it must be a QA procedure. Based on the green marker. I love how the how the the, the, the the system messages are worded. They're they're wonderful. I think I've investigated as much as I can. Really? I should touch base with Shell. That's it? We get a green marker. We steal a green marker. We confirm that we're breaking labor laws at this company. Weird, even with Shell's badge, I still can't get in. Well, if you use your eyeballs to read, you'd see the new sign that said, all entry forbidden until further notice. Do you know what's in here, Skip? Well, if you use your eyeballs to read, this sign says this is a storage room. I know somebody like this, and I have to say, not, not a fan. At least not of that banter in particular. Still can't get into there <laughs> with your QA badge. I fill Shell in on the current progress of my investigation, which honestly isn't much. I wasn't able to find anything definitive that could rule her out as a suspect, but I also never found anything blatantly incriminating either. The thought of that makes me feel so hopeless. Helpless. I believe security is waiting on the arrival of the CEO to discuss any disciplinary action. Ugh, just what is it that they have on you? They must have something that they're keeping to themselves. If they're this confident in holding you in here like this. I hate it so much. I feel so helpless. Our attentions are drawn towards a nearby opening door. It's creak sounding very important. Oh, <laughs> uh, like the writing. Uh, whoa, hello. Hello there. An even more important looking woman makes her way into the room on Shell's side. Miss Batour, it's 12 p.m., Time for your termination. Yes, ma'am. Wait, no, that can't be right. I haven't even had the chance to speak with the CEO yet. Oh, that's interesting. You were ready to accept your fate for a moment there. Ahem. I'm actually here to inform you that the CEO has arrived and is ready for your hearing. Oh, I see. Very well. The CEO is here to pass judgment. Already? I feel like there's still so much to uncover. The two start making their exit. I can't leave it at this. There has to be more that I can do. Shell is led to another room, and I follow right behind them. A <gasps> save. My god. Get over yourself. Oh, <sighs> the emotes. Shell is sad. The CEO is stern. Well, wait, please. Please let me help. This isn't fair to Shell. She deserves to have someone on her side to back her up. Please. Do you mean to say that you have information that could sway my judgment on the situation? I, I might. I may not have much, but it's better than nothing. I have to do this for Shell. I have to prove myself to her. Hmm. Thus begins the official hearing regarding the felt Prince Crab, the result of which will term determine the disciplinary action to be taken against Shelly Batois. To start, can you introduce yourself, the low-level employee who barged in as if they had authority? Yikes, that's me. <laughs> y yes, I'm Bay last name. I apply finishing coats of paint to the figurine, sir. I am here too. Ah, one of our painters, I see. Hmm. Nori for a sure. For sure. I'll be presenting the facts of the incident. Are you ready? It doesn't matter. The truth doesn't care about your feelings. God. Very well. The hearing has officially begun. Yes, for sure. Can you fill me in? Gladly. Earlier today, just past noon, the Prince Crab was found shattered to pieces. Poor Prince. It was going to be a great reveal. What a shame. Shameful indeed. 
Miss Patois was scheduled to conduct a final quality review on the statue at the time. Instead of inspecting the statue, however, our promising young prince was unfortunately slain by this ruthless criminal here. She's the, she's the prettiest girl at the party. Can she even say that? Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? Her bloodlust wasn't sated after that. She decided to defile the scene of the crime in red marker. Huh? She scribbled on the statue? No, Miss Patois scribbled the words minced crab on the wall beside the corpse. Corpse. <laughs> Gasp. Well, wait, I would never do such a thing. Silence, honey. The facts are speaking. This is terrible. I can't stand a thing coming out of that nori woman's mouth. There's a lot wrong with her thinking, but I'll just have to stamp it all out one by one. Time to dismantle Nori's argument. You will review the statement that was just provided by the lovely Miss Nori. You can press any statement to get clarifying details on what was said. You can also present evidence to point out the discrepancies in the statement. Be careful. Presenting the wrong evidence will lessen the CEO's patience. When his patience wears too thin, he will conclude the meeting and Shell will be terminated. Oh no. If you feel stumped, you can ask Skipper for help. This option is only available in the final statement. Dude, okay, so there's a legitimate Phoenix Wright case going on. I didn't see this leading into that at all, but that's what it is. That is so cool. So cool. Miss Batois was scheduled to conduct a final quality review on the statue at noon. I would like to press for details because I had no idea we were getting a mascot. Yes, it was top secret operation meant to be a surprise to the whole world, and Miss Batois was deemed trustworthy enough to have been bestowed the honor of giving it a final evaluative review for some reason. Miss Batois was scheduled to conduct a final, okay. I'd like to present evidence, and I would like to present, hmm, no, I guess I don't have anything for that. And what do you know, just past noon, the prince crab was found, shattered to pieces. Details, please. Hold on now, this is all speculative so far, we can't make any definitive judgments. Oh, trust me, little baby, I've got plenty of facts on my side, just you wait. For some reason, I thought it was not noon yet because, oh, well, yeah, it was break time. She came into the room saying, it's 12 o'clock, time for your termination. Next. Instead of inspecting the statue, our promising young prince was brutally slain by this ruthless criminal here. Her bloodlust wasn't stated after that, and she decided to defile the scene of the crime in red marker. Aha! Green markers. Hold on now! <laughs> That can't be right. Oh, this should be good. Go on, use your words. Tell me what's wrong with what I've said. <clears throat> you say Shell destroyed that poor little prince and wrote those nasty words on the wall, but that can't be the case. Because everyone in QA marks up all their reviews in green ink. Well, perhaps she simply didn't have a green marker on hand and when red was all she could find in the moment. That's unlikely, considering her desk is swarming with heaps of these markers. You could get a check for yourself. I took this marker straight from her desk. Huh? You stole one of my green markers from my desk? No, I borrowed it, as evidence. You know, none of this truly matters in the end. Your statement only amounts to crumbs. Detritus at the bottom of the cold, dark sea. What? Your words matter not, because I have definitive proof of Miss Batois' guilt. Security camera footage. No way. Behold. Security camera footage from the hallway of the scene. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> wow, that's definitely definitive. No, it's not. Indeed. The footage depicts Miss Batois entering the storage room where the statue was kept. Shortly afterwards is when we see the felt prince crab, as well as our lovely painter's reaction to the scene. Well, any objections, questions, concerns? I'd say this is proof enough. The prince crab security cam footage has been added to evidence. You think I'm lovely? <laughs> The footage doesn't show enough. There's no way this footage can be considered definitive. That's right, because it's a time skip. It shows every five minutes. God, you gotta really treat these people like they're stupid. Because they are. We only see Shell entering the storage room, nothing more. This is circumstantial at best. Even I appear in the footage. Does that definitively make me a criminal as well? Aw, you still don't understand. It's true, the camera does not capture the critical moment of the statue's destruction. However, what it does show is still compelling. Do you see anyone else entering the storage room? That is what I thought. There's gotta be something. Gotta be some way to downplay the validity of that footage. It couldn't be too hard. It's not like it depicts Shell being caught in the accurate handed or anything. We'll, uh, we'll put a new save. I love we get the opportunity to save. It's nice. All right. Mm. Next. Next. 
Shortly afterwards, when we see the felt prince crab as well as our lovely painter's reaction to the scene. Next, well. Consult Skipper. Something feels off, I just know it. If you're not completely sure, you can always take your time and ask her for more details. If you feel like something isn't right, then just go with your gut. Mm. I will. I gotta be able to present some sort of evidence. Hold on, something isn't right. Are you getting ready to say some words, painter girl? Oh, that's the first time they've confirmed it. Okay, so we, we are a girl. Yes, there's something off about the footage you showed. Impossible. Wait, that's all she has to say? Ahem. There's something off about the footage, and I can show you. Oh, there was a big time skip. The strange thing about the footage is right here. It was a five minute, a five, a ten minute, and then a five minute, five minute. Yes. Oh, do I get to... Do I get to... Do I get to move it? Ah. Yes. Okay, cool. It's right here. This. The timestamp on the footage appears to pass in five minute intervals, but there's a strange skip in the midway through. Time. In the time midway through, Ash. 12, 12, 5, 12, 10, 12, 20. You're right. The timestamp does jump suddenly. Mm. What are you trying to say? I think this footage could have been edited. That's preposterous. In fact, I find it insulting that you would dare to doubt the security of my workplace. Why, that's nothing more than a glitch in the system. Shall we chalk it up to technical difficulties? Well, I find it insulting that you would try to terminate an innocent woman with nothing but circumstantial evidence. Anyone could have appeared in that time frame. Who's to say it couldn't be me? Ahem. First of all, little baby, it couldn't have possibly been you. It couldn't have been you, my lovely little painter. You are at the bottom of the barrel. You don't have clearance to access such a highly secured room. So unlike you, unless you'd like to admit to tampering of evidence or theft of an access badge, then Bachois is our only suspect. Ah! But Shell wouldn't do this. She just wouldn't do this. It doesn't make sense. Oh, that's where you're wrong. I would like to drop a bomb called Motive. I was here. I have here with me the personnel file of the Miss Shelley Bachois. Sorry, for some reason, I can't read. There is a warning on her file, a flag. Why, you may ask? Because her employment records indicate that she previously held a position at a seafood restaurant. Miss Batois here was quite skilled in the handling and dispatching of crustaceans. That is awesome. Not only that, but she's share anti-crab sentiment on her personal social media accounts as well. Huh? That can't be right. You're lying. Why would we even hire a crab hater at the company? It wouldn't add up. All the disturbing social media interactions were a relatively new development. But you know what? Don't take my word for it. How about you ask her for yourself? Shelly, I forgive you if you don't like crabs. It'll be fine. I just have to hear her out. It's fine. <laughs> we're making progress. <laughs> She's twisting things. It's not true. I know, Shell. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I feel terrible. I feel as though I have no control over the outcome of my future. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. Just relax, okay? Breathe. How interesting. I look forward to watching the two of you flounder. Was there anything strange about that line of questioning? No. No, I'll keep hearing her out and pay attention to anything strange. Next. I love crabs. Next. I'm sorry for working in a seafood restaurant, but it was just a job, nothing more. Next. And I don't recall making any anti-crab posts online. I must have been hacked. Press for details. That is a possibility. Yes, that must have been what happened. It wasn't me. Oh, please. That's everyone's excuse when they're caught red-handed. You really think someone would do that? Tell lies on the internet? Oh, that's me. <sighs> Certainly not me. Was there anything strange about that line of questioning? Yes. Huh? You don't like what I said? What's wrong? Um, I was just testing you to make sure you were paying attention. How mean? Ah, crap. details. Having a job like that doesn't necessarily mean you harbor any hatred towards crabs. Exactly. If someone eats burgers, it doesn't mean they relish in the death of cows. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Let's not forget that Little Miss Thing here was the restaurant's most skilled and efficient dispatcher of crabs. Go away. Ugh. Anyway, I love crabs. What's your details there? Of course you do. Why would anyone work at a crabs company if they hated crabs? Precisely. That simply wouldn't make any sense. My favorite's the mitten crab. Uh-huh. I'm partial to Dundas. Oh, I don't have a favorite. I enjoy all crabs. Hmm. Something was definitely off about her response just now. Shell? What do you like most? Do you like me? 
What do you like most about crabs? Oh, that's a tough one to answer. I suppose if I had to choose anything, I'd say my favorite thing about them are their soft underbellies. Really? I think that's the first time I've heard that answer. I can't help it. Their bellies are just too adorable. Shell, I hate to say it, but I think you're lying. Huh? You don't believe me. Why would you say that? <laughs> your answer, your eyes, your soul. Your response was suspicious. I've never heard anyone claim that crab bellies were their favorite before. So, does that make sense? No, not in the slightest. I didn't want to say that. Ah, uh, crap. What I meant was... Your eyes. Your eyes give you away. You blink excessively when telling a lie. Th th that's not true. I love crabs. This is terrible. Why won't you say anything? You believe me, don't you, Bay? The facts do not lie. My little baby must be coming around to accept the true truth. The truth? If you really want the truth, then... I've never been into crabs. It's true. Next. Details. What? How? How could you say that? I just don't see what's so special about them. They're not cute. They have weird beady eyes and scary looking shells. Do you hate all sea creatures or just crabs? Well, I suppose jellyfish are pretty adorable, but that's it. Oh, she kind of looks like a jellyfish. She's got the hair. I get it. I get it. I love that. No way. I've never been into crabs. Next. They're so gross. Creepy. <laughs> Details. Creepy. How? Isn't it obvious? They're like giant sea spiders. It's weird. I can't believe. Uh, next. I hate them. I hate them. Hate them. Hate them. Hate them. You don't truly mean that, right, Shell? I'm sorry, but those are my true feelings. But then why work here? A job is just a job. This was simply the best paying position I could find in the area. <sighs> oh. I can't believe this. It can't be real. You have a very delicious looking face of dejection, little baby. So do you submit? Do you accept this truth about your beloved? Why would she? No. There has to be another way. Ah, how adorable. Humor me, baby. If not Mr. Patois, then who? Who else could have possibly committed this crime? Is there anyone else that could have possibly done this? Nori? Nori. <laughs> My, how interesting. What makes you say such a thing, baby? Don't make me type out the answer again. Nori, I have one question for you. Where were you? What's your type? I'm going to have to play through this and get all these weird, wrong answers. Where were you when the tragic event occurred? When Miss Bidouin was slaughtering the Prince Crab? I was taking a tinkle, of course. Oh my god. Uh-huh. i using the potty. All women potty. Is it a crime to potty, bae? Ugh, no, forget it. What I meant to ask was... Who are you? What a silly question. My name is Nori for sure. You knew that already, no? No, who are you? I've worked here for a couple years now, but I've never seen you before. You're apparently big shot enough to have a lot of sway in Shell's future at the company. So who are you? Ah, did we neglect a proper introduction? How sloppy on our part. Please, for sure, introduce yourself to the fledgling painter. Nori for sure, head of security. Nori's access badge has been added to evidence. Everything hinges on this. Let's take a look now. Access level, full. Gasp. This. Yes, is there a problem? Your, the access level. You have full access within the company, therefore you could have done this. What a silly accusation. Are you going to go around accusing every high level employee? Who's next? Maybe our beloved CEO? <clears throat> Me? That's not it. There are two pieces of evidence that make a lot more sense if we consider that you are the true culprit all along. And that is, Shelly's access badge? Hmm, and how does that relate to our current statement at hand? Ah, well, I was still thinking about this. Well, you can think about this. Don't waste my time. I meant to say that. Don't wait my time. He did mean to say that. <sighs> Lovely. Okay, so, um, the security cam footage. <clears throat> I knew the timestamp was odd. You chalked it up to just a glitch, but as the head of security, it would have been a no problem for you to edit or manipulate the footage. It's just way too convenient that such a critical moment is missing from the video. What an interesting hypothesis. There's also one more thing that makes a bit more sense when you consider that Nori could be the true culprit. The green markers! I hope. 
I brought it up before how strange it was that Green Marker wasn't used to face the scene of a crime, but for a high-level employee such as yourself, it makes sense that you'd assume Red would be used to critique. Oh, uh, you really think so highly of me, don't you? So that's my reasoning. I don't think it could have been anyone other than you. Well, and what would my motivation be? Her motivation? Uh... Oh man, all of these answers are terrible. Sheer boredom to drive me away from Shell. You like drama. Well, you seem to be having a lot of fun with this hearing so far. I think, all right, you don't have to go in any further. I've already got an idea of what you'll say next. Allow me to steal your momentum. It's true, it was me, it's all true. It me. <laughs> Quite insufferable being the only one at the top. All I do is sit on boring meetings, respond to trivial emails, and review the occasional incident report. Nothing exciting ever comes my way. So, I started watching the security cameras for fun, and boy, are you people fascinating. All the chatter, the drama, the tea I was able to sip on, it was just too much fun. I've learned a lot of intimate details about some of your employees due to this, especially when it comes to you, little baby. Huh? I learned about you and your little crush. I looked closer at both of your personnel files to read up on your lore, and that's when I discovered all the cautions and warnings from Miss Patois. Ouch. So that part is still true. It would have been so very interesting to see what would have happened if you accosted Miss Patois with your feelings, but the anticipation grew stale. You never took any action. How terrible. I needed to see the events fold out. Would she reject you? What if you learned about her distaste for crustaceans? I just had to know. And this was the best way to set it all up. I kidnapped the Prince Crab. I battered him to pieces and scrawled that message on the wall, and yes, I scrubbed my appearance in the camera footage afterwards. I suppose the edit was a bit shoddy, but I was short on time. I intended on accomplishing much more, but you kind of threw a wrench into my plan. Me? What did I do? As soon as I dragged that little boy out of the storage room, I saw you out in the hallway. So instead of staging the scene at Miss Patois' desk, I had to wait for you to leave and was forced to leave the mess in the hallway. But oh well, there you have it. I did the deed, it was me. You really did all that? Just to see me interact with Shell in a certain way? That's... That's... <clears throat> Unhinged? <laughs> that's so dramatic. Exactly. That's the point, baby. This was simply the right kind of excitement and adrenaline needed to bring some flourish into my monotonous work life. I suppose at this point all I can say for now is I'm sorry. I am truly sorry, Shelley Batois, that you had to get caught up in this mess. It's crystal clear now that you had no involvement in this incident. I will conclude this hearing and officially deem you as not fired. Yay! Look at the confetti coming down from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. How well done was that court scene? Just great. It's all finally over. The CEO went off to confront that nori lady in private, presumably to work out some disciplinary measures. Oh, hi, Shell. Bay, I want to thank you deeply for all your help just now. Bay. Bay and Shell. Crab related puns. I get it now. For some reason, it wasn't hitting me. Ah, you don't have to thank me. It was no problem. <laughs> I do find it necessary to address the matter of your feelings for me. Ah! I completely forgot that came up in the hearing earlier. I am sorry, babe, but I simply cannot fathom returning your feelings. I wouldn't my remaining friends, however. Let's keep it professional, yes? Sure. All right. I suppose it's better to have a friend rather than no relationship at all. Shelley Batois ended up quitting her job at the Prince Crab within the following three weeks, never to be seen again. Oh my god. <laughs> she accepted a new position, deploying and retrieving crab traps to distribute crustaceans to various food establishments. That's even worse. Nothing happened to Nori for sure. Nori. That's uh, a Japanese word for seaweed. Specifically, I'm, I'm, I know the dried kind. Ending obtained, true ending. So there were other endings. That's awesome. Thank you for playing. Special thanks to Amalgamash and the Balkan community for agreeing to extend the deadline of the jam. Ah, I'm so glad that I did. I'm so, so glad that I did. If it weren't for the extension, I'm so glad that we did because it was really a group effort. I would have never been able to submit this project and participate. I love Balkan and will only continue to tell more stories with this engine. Yes, please do. That was lovely. That was a ton of fun to play through. That was really awesome. And it was so well done. It was so well done with the camera shots and the dialogue and the comedic timing and everything the story beats just perfectly perfectly done really cool really really cool creation this one definitely gets the uh narrative parts down there's nothing endless about it but it is 
really nice, really, really good example, especially of a, a somebody who might want to make a courtroom drama style game and they need examples of that sort of thing happening. And it has a lot of visual novel tricks in it as well that make it an ideal example for a lot of use cases too, for people who aren't sure what Bakken is capable of. Really cool on all accounts. Thank you so much, Rainline, for this amazing game. I'm going to have to play through and get the uh, sillier answers out of the way so I can see how people react to stuff like that. Anyways, this is the result when we are able to come together and decide to push jam deadlines forward. We're able to see what other awesome submissions could have made it through and do make it through because of those things happening. So thank you all very much for any uh, participation in that. And thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. So until then, bye for now.